seven southern US accents you won't understand. Interested to see what we got with this, see what these seven southern accents are. If any of these are your accents, let me know in the comment section. It'd be really interested to see which of you guys are rocking these accents. Before we do get into this, I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. I'm also posting extra content on my Patreon. Link is in the description. But yeah, let's jump into this and check out these seven southern accents. If you take a road trip through the American deep south and decide to stop for gas, you might see some big alligators. You'll hear some <laughs> even bigger accents. Okay. This ain't the same thing you hear every single day when you turn on your radio. He's dead right. I did not find... I understood half, half, half of that. A couple, a couple words. These on the radio. I searched the mountains, the beaches, the bayous to find the most intriguing American accents of all. And okay. all I'm going to say is that Gator is the least of your worries. So oh, wow. can you guess these accents? It's a challenge. Let's find out. Oh, this, this is going to be good. I get to guess? Oh, this is going to be really... Yo, you guys might laugh at this one. <laughs> one. We heard the weather siren go off and... Um, I got the girls, we got in the hallway, and Brian had walked to the back and opened the door, and... I'll put in the door, I'll put in the door, um, Mississippi. And he heard it. Well, isn't that an amazing accent? I've been told the biggest difference between the southern accents is that they either speak with a southern drool or okay. a southern twang. Okay. Anyone know the difference? Actually, no. Joey kind of sent me then in the direction of we were looking for another potter. I found his son-in-law who was a potter who owned property right over there. I call them chiggers. Uh, you also get them in if you're in the woods yeah. this time of the year. Yeah. And some people call them red bulbs. Really, I don't know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm low-key struggling with this one a little bit. I'm, <laughs> I'm low-key, so I'm, I'm paying attention. But I'm struggling about oh, the difference between a chicken and a red bug. To me, they both hurts. Well, here we have a it classic hurts. southern drawl. Pretty relaxed sounding, don't you think? A okay. drawl just means that the vowels are pronounced kind of long and sound like they're split into two syllables. This yeah. accent goes all the way back to the Scots Irish settlers. Oh, you know what? I actually like saying this accent. Like, I, whenever people tell me to do like an American accent, I do this all the time. Sound like this. Like, they're. Baird, Baird, Baird. Split into two syllables. This Have accent goes all the way back to the Scots Irish settlers, and then plantation life had a huge impact on the evolution. You hear some strong African American sounds in there okay. too. Why well, I talk the way I do because the good Lord blessed me with this accent. I like it. I like it just fine. Amazing. Oh, that's well, strong. The deepest deep south is where that's you hear strong the strongest accent. accents of all, but it definitely depends on which neck of the woods you're in. Do y'all not realize how silly y'all look? Accusing me of fake. Y'all don't realize how silly y'all look. Faking <laughs> an accent. Just cause I have on my realize Wait. how silly y'all look. Accusing me of faking an accent. Just cause I have on my teeth in my head and I'm not married to my brother. Doesn't mean <laughs> I can't qualify for a southern accent. <laughs> yeah, I can't lie. Her accent's fire. Yo, I can't lie. She just said cause she's got all her teeth and her head and married her brother. <laughs> Where yeah. are we exactly? Well, let's get out of the woods for the last clue. I got a granddaddy, granddaddy. and a mama, and a granny, and a papa. And a papa. So I got all, they could never have You got them all covered, huh? Yep. Where I'm from, there's nothing there. We had, all we had to do was ride dirt roads, and we'd go to pastors, and then I had a little Altima car. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, with this accent, is that strong? I like genuinely have to pay attention to each separate word. Like, if I was relaxed, so many words will fly by my head. And one time, my dad got so mad because I did donuts in the pasture of my Altima car and it caught on fire. Here comes the Yo, she sounds a little bit like a stronger version of Maggie from The Walking Dead. But a very much stronger version. But, like, I, I can imagine, like, Maggie's area to be, like, somewhere close by. And she was on the farm, like, wasn't she? Like, maybe in the south, I don't know. Reveal, it is the accent of the one and only Alabama. And by the way, guys. Yo, I was going to say Alabama, right? But everybody, like, like that's the... I didn't want to say Alabama because anytime you hear, like, a southern accent, you always automatically assume Alabama. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's unfair to put Alabama first, bro. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie, but we got it out of the way. Listen, anytime anyone hears a Southern accent isn't from America, they always think Alabama, bro. So, I, you know, I wanted to have a good guess. In case you can't tell, I am not personally from the American Deep South. Far from it. So if I do get anything wrong in this video, please let me have it in the comments. All feedback is welcome and appreciated. Yo, you guys gotta let me know if these are your accents. 
Number two, what we he got? He worked in, in the field a while, but he played music in slavery time. Had him and old man Milton Braces for the fiddle player. Still, that guy with the red dress on, little eyes of Jane. Don't you say what showed you more? I can't well, understand I any words. I'm right giving it away here, but I can't resist. This state is known for its rich blues heritage, and the singer is a great example of how the accents have been shaped by the music and culture. Okay. Seriously, Wisconsin. music has superpowers when it comes to preserving the way people speak. You can probably name a few legends yourself. Just like Alabama, you get that deep south rhythm even in speaking. I don't right. care about the budget. I'm going to go out. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to travel. If the money's in the account and the bills are paid, we're doing it, all right? I'm new to this whole posting right. videos thing, but uh, I hope y'all enjoy at least hearing me talk or something like that, but uh, yes, I appreciate sir. it. Of course, like all over the South, there is more than one way to talk. Please, please don't ever talk to me like this, and I'm fixing to do it in a fake Southern accent. The one they use in the movies, they one like, the one like they do on Steel Magnolias. Huh? Okay, I, I, I'm really struggling here. I, I, I didn't think I'd be struggling this bad. Please don't ever talk to me like this, and I'm fixing to do it in a fake Southern accent. Okay. The one they use in the movies, they one like the one like they do on Steel Magnolias. The one like they do, they still make noise. Southern accent. The one they use in the movies, they one like the one like they do on Steel Magnolias. Trust me. I don't know. I am pleasant. <laughs> I just saw drum eating in this morning at the Piggly Wiggly and I smiled. I'll be honest, I would not know the difference. Can you guys hear what's real <laughs> and what's fake? Either way, it's an accent that I just love. Where is it from? And you'll hear it down in Mississippi. If you got it right... Go That's why I said the... Oh, no, this video is cheating me out, bro. Yo, I said Mississippi the first time, so I didn't want to say it again. I wanted to say Alabama the first time, but I didn't want to be, you know, just like say Alabama straight away, bro. Okay, okay, now it's game time, bro. Go buy yourself a blues harp. This night is about to catch fire. Yo, if the next one's Wisconsin, I'm gonna lose it. We're all kin somewhere, ain't we, Gene? Yeah. Huh? A long line, yeah. I'd say, man, you are too on the light side. Oh, yeah, I mean, you're kin. Dad's telling me how much kin I, I see him at the funeral home at night. He's telling me how much kin, man, you are. Well, we can on your mind, it's on your grandma. Let's see. Your accent comes from the people who you hear speak the most. And if you live in the mountains all your life, you will naturally learn speech that is quite unique. And okay. you hear it sung in the incredible blues, rock, and soul. Lots of warm and friendly mountain folk out here, although they probably right. regret that they've been discovered, if you ask me. Most of this mind your own business and let everybody else mind their business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, yeah, I know what I'm saying, bro. Honestly, mate, I wish I did. I wish I did know what you were saying, bro. We left alone. Let us do our thing. We let you do your thing. This place has the most Y'all documented bang. caves in the US, more than 8,000 of them. Hopefully enough to live in there, but if you know much about moonshine, you probably know a certain legend from these parts, and I'm going to keep oh, him from... Wait, no, isn't Wyoming top left? Louisiana! Until you've given up guessing. You might want to fetch your whiskey glass while you wait. Meanwhile, here is a guy who prefers the water side. I've been a lot of places when I was in the Marine Corps by a gosh and drove a truck and I ain't never been nowhere that didn't want to come back. I like it. Wouldn't live nowhere else. I, me and a friend of mine, I like we, it. we garden a good bit, plant a lot of sweet corn to sell, taters. Uh, Yo, I'm a, bro, I'm actually blown away to how strong these southern accents really are. And I'm, bro, it's going to be so interesting to find out if any of you guys from the south are this strong of accents? Or are these like the really strong parts of the South? Yeah. They say that in the East, people sound more Appalachian and in the West, it's more deep South, but I still okay. can't place this woman. Can you? My little mom and daddy never said ugly words ever until my sister was gonna marry a little later in life and she was gonna marry this hooty do man. I can understand want to hear the best Lama. accent of all. How about we see a guy about some moonshine? Anything that I've ever used to make liquor out of. Sugar, meal, Rye, barley, whatever, the jars it's put in, I think it's my business if I want to make it. I You're... bought it and I figure what's mine is mine. If you haven't guessed what's yet, there's mine, probably mine. Uh, But try this. I was told to listen for a shh sound on the S's. Should we see if it's true? They had a bear in a cage. You know, we're famous for the bears and the Smokies. And people would stop at this market. Stop. They would buy Cokes for this bear. Uh, it's definitely true. I heard and now you stop. know where we've been this whole time. Tennessee. Another Tennessee. Number four. Mama TikTok assumed that I'm saying Sprite bean roll. 
instead of what I was actually saying, which is Sprite Zero. I get it. Cornbread is a hard <laughs> accent to understand. I actually heard it. Sprite Zero. Sprite Zero. <laughs> understand. They have horse racing, they have steamboats, they have baseball, and they have bourbon. Good on them. But that's all in the cities. Out here in the mountains, okay. it's a whole other story. Put some lingo in the area. You ain't lying. Man after sentence is big too. Come on, man. Like that. Like, man, come on. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Should we go shoot? Is this like yeah, mid Texas? Texas? It's a small town. You don't have much in it, but, you know, it goes off a lot. What's all that pain going on? Been working on this place for a long time. Go try to rehab it? No, man. It looks like it's beyond hope. It is beyond hope. Poorest county beyond. in America, by the way. But the accent that lives in these small rural towns is completely surrounded by beautiful rolling hills, dense oh, wow. forests, sparkling lakes, and the people have a strong connection to the land and traditions. George went up and down. You see what I'm saying? He walks straight back and forth. He does not side to side on that bull crap. He goes straight. If you want to build his leg, build him straight. That's his natural movement. Yeah, all I got from that, if you want to build a leg, go straight. <laughs> <laughs> and religion, you keep in your heart and your head, you'll still be do better than average. You know, don't listen to the man. I think that was about a rooster, maybe. <laughs> well, this accent is also known to accompany bluegrass music. How's that for a great clue? Hi, I'm Chuck Ford. I was just having an argument with the boy up road about who has the bigger trailer. It's me. You ever have a day where you just feel beautiful? I don't know if you can hear him or not, but. Beautiful. There's sandhill cranes over there. Sometimes you just gotta stop and... Yo, do you know what's actually mad from this video, right? Is like how... Like, we're in the South right now. America's a big, big, big place, bro. We're in just the South. And how different the accents are is crazy. Like, bro, America, all the accents. And you know what? I bet there's actually Americans watching this that's struggling as much as me. Understanding, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate nature. Turns out the further south you go, the stronger the accent gets. Right. People say the smooth moonlight magnolia drool is quite recognizable. It's a mix of southern and midwestern tones, which came about from contact with the English via commerce in the 18th and 19th century. But it was stigmatized as an improper way to talk. So it's actually leveled out a lot since then. Funny how we change our accents to please others. We really shouldn't. Anyway, I must learn some words. change we my accent. Number two, wait, wait, what? you shouldn't. Anyway, want to learn some words? We got guitar. Guitar. Number two, we got water. Water. Number three, we got a swamp donkey. Swamp. Number four, we got skedaddle. Got you skedaddle. there. But not all accents from this area sound the same, and the cities have their own thing. You can't keep on putting the people down in the hood, because the people you see on TV today might be just from the hood. Yes, sir. And, uh, and Shepherd Square has produced a whole bunch of people from the hood. I can't name them all. But there's going to be a calendar made and I'll have these people's birthday on there as a calendar of the great people. I can't name them all. Yo, I'm not going to lie. It's actually like Southern accent in America is probably one of the most fun accents to actually like do yourself, bro. Like, I don't know why, but when I do it, I have fun. <laughs> Would it come out the hood? Now, I have a question for you. Matt, How hood. do you handle tricky accents when you're learning a new language? This can be really challenging. I'm not being a jerk. You guys just don't know what it's like to be a young Southern man reading a book and be like, hmm, all right. If that's how that's spelled, I've been saying it wrong. That Wait. I, I would say he's southern, but I would say he's like that strongly southern. Do you know what I mean? Like compared to the people in the video. Have you figured out where we are yet? Yeah, I've been to Chicago, and Florida, Georgia. Mm -hmm. You know. Wait, it's kind of like in there, Texas. I, 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 they like to life. I've been in Chicago five years, but I worked up there. But yeah. you say what? Big money, we spent big money. Yeah. There ain't no yeah. place like home. Where is home? It's a gorgeous place with unpredictable weather. Oh, no one near Texas. Okay. <laughs> The so where are we going, Gary? What you mean, where are we going? You got me spraying out in this hot ass weather. I don't know what she's talking about. Gary, you know what I'm talking about. What you sent to my phone? What I sent? This is, no, 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 this is Louisiana. I, the, bro, 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 bro. Listen, 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 listen. I've learned enough about America. This, this has to be Louisiana, bro. I'm yeah. telling you. I'm talking about something. Hey, honey, I'll be there in a minute. You, sure? you don't even like honey. Uh, you allergic. People are saying that when she speaks, you can hear the hood, the country, and Southern Belle all at once. Oh, and that's the what? kind of interesting accent I just love. But perhaps you've heard it done more like this. The sky is about to fall out. This is north of IT and entering. Woo! Man, you better hold on to them cochons. <laughs> this stage is actually really special. It has two very specific dialects that are okay. different from everything else in the video. Yep, I said dialects. Ready for some clues? We're about to totally lose the draw. Good morning. 
Sometimes we started a conversation in French and finish in English. Sometimes we get it started in English and finish it in French. We go back and forth. There's a lot of... What? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't even know what he was saying just then, but that sounded mad, bro. From what I heard, I ain't even going to repeat it, bro. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that as well, but I heard the certain word that should be said. Deep swamp here, known as... Bayou country, and with the wild swamps come a million of these guys and some fascinating accents. Not a million. Nobody around here thinks they got an accent. They say, look at that guy, he got an accent. I it's might buy me a house That's somewhere and do it like that there, but I ain't gonna never leave from uptown. It's where do it I like know, that you know. Native Americans have lived here for more than a thousand years, but a long time ago, mid 1700s, a bunch of French speakers were exiled here from Canada for not bowing down to the crown, okay. the rebels. So now you have these little pockets of French speakers surviving in certain places. I got a friend. We got a, a chicken farm, great big chicken farm. But when he chicken, chicken farm. <laughs> started out it wasn't big, no. So what he do is he started with just a few chicken in the hall up there, and he, he built a, a black stop road by his house. Next thing, there were German and Irish immigrants, Africans, Caribbean, oh, Spanish from everything. the Canary Islands. No wonder they speak the way they do. There was four cents a pound wow. for the black one. The green one, we had to put that in the water to let it kill itself. And later on, we go back and put it on one bar. And about two. Okay, yo, this might be the hardest one yet that I'm trying to like hear out. You know what I'm saying? To understand, this might be the hardest one. Three, three or four weeks later, them. we had to come back and turn it to turn black. What an awesome accent. They can only be Cajuns. Now, Cajuns speak a unique kind of French. So naturally, okay. their English has a spicy Cajun flavor too. If you call yourself American, you have to know where we are. It is gumbo and Mardi Gras country. I don't know, Good old Louisiana. And you would not get that, but oh! if you're not into... Yo, 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 yo. Okay, no, nah, that's got to be a good guess, bro. Yo, that... Hey, listen, listen, listen. I saw one not from America. Bro, literally the first, like, 20 seconds of this part, I was like, I paused it, and I was like, bro, this has to be Louisiana. I don't know how I knew that. It just rung a bell. I don't know. I, yeah, bro. I'm impressed. Yo, you know what? I'm giving myself a round of applause for that one. I did well. <laughs> well I see. I have some sugar just for you. Number six. I'm an advocate of being proud of where you're from. So let me just paint you a picture of how country the country is. Texas. I know a grown man Texas. by the name of Pee Wee, and nobody knows his government name. I grew up going to tractor pulls. This is where everybody bring their tractor and see how far they can pull stuff. Yeah, this is it, bro, bro, listen, listen, listen. I, look, I was so certain with Louisiana. This is Texas, bro. I know my Texas, you know what I'm saying? I know my Texas. I used to see how many grasshoppers I could catch in a jar. One time I got 24. Can you hear the Rainbow. sweetest sound she has? Down this end of the world, you still get a deep drool, but it's softer, practically right. dripping with southern molasses. When Morgan Wallen said some people like to make a little fun of the way I talk, I'll be dang. <laughs> I felt that. Guys, I actually really like this accent. Half y'all daddy making fun of me, and half y'all are weirdly obsessed with the way I talk. Well, I'm dad gum raggedy. Well, I guess those tea drinking Franciscan monks in the 1500s can be blamed for all the sweetness. But bad news. They say the classic accent has been fading more and more and going okay. in the direction of a California accent. Unless you're in this city, they have their own thing going on. Uh, like that. You wouldn't you understand what I'm saying when I just said that to you. It's like five words in one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you either. I can't give away the lingo though. That's the crazy part about it. But it's like five words in one when I just told you like, uh. And I just have to mention a Bro, he just went, uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> Yo, imagine I'm actually talking to some of you guys now that can understand that. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse somewhere, which apparently all goes down right here. So if you want to survive, better make the right friends. Uh. And with that outrageous clue, I shall leave you the answer. We are in the Peach State, Georgia. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it's not Texas. Okay. Look, I'll take my guess of Louisiana and I'll run home with that one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We are almost at the one that's so hard, maybe two of you will get it. But first, my favorite. Okay. We got water in the in the man trip we was riding. We was in the back of it, and that water has uh, 12 breaks of water backed up. Bro, this is... Like, I thought Georgia would text us because of, like, the last part of the sentence. 
So you know where there's like riding, like riding, like where I'm riding, bro. That sounds Texas to me, cause I've spoke to people from Texas, bro. This has to, this has to be Texas. This one right here. This, this has to be. And they'll just blow that coal out just like a explosion, you know. Go cool, rewind that and try again. It's okay. I did it about a million times. What I recognise it. Now we might just be in twang country. Now it's faster and more nasal. On this man's doorstep is some of the most rugged terrain in the country. Lots of beautiful forests for hiking, mountain biking, whitewater oh, rafting. Oh, beautiful. Singing. What do you think? You know what I mean. This has to be Texas, bro. I'm long, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I just feel like I recognize it. In many ways, it's a different America here. Coal mining is the center point of everything, and if you know what a holler is, then it will be an easy guess. They say things like a hunting and a going, and if it all seems a bit ancient to you, well, you're not wrong. It's one of those speech a going. Things that came with the immigrants. Can't complain about an accent that helps keep Shakespeare alive in the 21st century, right? But not everyone is so hard to understand. You be a kid down there and get in trouble down here. Time you get home, you're about what? five people done called your mama saying, hey, time you get there, they are waiting on you. Everybody, everybody knows, knows everybody. It's not a good thing sometimes. <laughs> There's not a lot of thieving and stuff like that now, but there used to be. Yeah, yeah bro, I would literally put my bank account as a bet that this is Texas, bro. 100%. I know I said it for the last one, but the last one, the last part of it kind of was like ringing a bell. But this one, 100%. That stuff's probably, yeah. that probably stuff come in in the 90s. Okay. Yeah, okay. Store probably... So it's gotten better in that oh, sense. Oh, yeah, it's gotten better and better. 100%, and better. bro. I've been gone a, bunch of t a couple times, a few I've times. I've been gone. And, uh, I always end up back. Love it. Let's try a different accent from another part of town. Back in the point, well, when the mines shut down, the country and the economy went down, people left and then the business, uh, business shut down. At one time, a person could buy anything you wanted in Welch. If you left Welch because you wanted to quit, all kinds of different grocery stores. Grocery stores. Bus terminal. One of the most fascinating things about this legendary region is the stories. They have a tradition of passing down stories in the form of ballads, which are okay. stories told through song. It began in Britain and traveled with the settlers to the mountains here and got all these other beautiful influences mixed in. Only difference is, in this part of the world, the stories are all true. And this is how they kept their history alive. Not in books, but in song. Come on, guys, pull up your bridges and take a wild guess. Wait, now I'm not thinking, now I'm thinking it's not Texas, bro. Because he's talking about like Britain was there telling stories. Now, I don't, that wasn't the case with Texas, right? What is the accent? Get on the water and enjoy a high tech scavenger hunt. Mate one is home to over 50 geocaching sites but that are only reachable like by Texas. river. There's so many things to experience here in Mate One that you'll need more than one day to do it. It's the only state completely within the Appalachian Mountain region. The Mountain State. Oh, it's not. oh no, 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 no. West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me home. That's why it was ringing a bell, bro. Because it's West Virginia. Know what I'm saying? I've heard the West Virginia that said loads. And that's why I was ringing a bell, but I... Bro, I suck at this, man. I've let myself down. I ain't gonna lie. I let myself... I'm disappointed, bro. I'm disappointed. A lot of you guys are probably watching this. Me, like, being like, oh, it's 100% Texas. Screaming at your uh, computer right now. Whatever, your TV. Screaming, it's West Virginia, you, id you idiot. And I, I fully agree, bro. I... I've let myself down, man. At least I got Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? West Virginia. How many accents was that? Now? Seven accents? Oh, we got a bonus. Don't ever forget one time, my grandmother, she was up in the 80s, and she wanted to see that movie, Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. yeah. What, another mountain man with a beard? No, no, no. Let's find someone else, because <laughs> I heard this state is so diverse, you might think you died and went to dialect heaven. Oh, well, did you see I, that? Listen, wind? listen, listen. I know I've said this for the past two months, but th listen, diverse, that has to be Texas. <laughs> Bro, I should just stop with this, man. <laughs> oh, move them trees, and I say blow them trees. Huh? That's how it done. And then, boy, look at the river. Look how, how high it's standing. Any clues from this? The amazing thing about this like state Texas. is each geographic region has a unique dialect, but there's a special okay. one. See if you can identify it. And a cup of Alec is actually sugar, coffee with sugar in it, you know. November. Okay, that's, uh, 
Some folks call them a slingshot, but it's just uh, what we would uh, take a, a forked branch. I don't know where off, this put is. Put rubber bands on it, put a rock in it, but that's a juvember. Uh, to me, when you mama something, you like uh, treat it bad. You mama. like to mess over it. You know, you you make a mess of it. The accent is mostly southern with a few vowel differences. Well, when he got halfway that little ditch on this side, mm -hmm. before it's oh, come this out isn't tight, well, that word in was no different. So who are these fascinating folk? The locals and the historians tell an incredible story of a mystery out here that has never ever been solved. A mystery that led to this accent. Oh, we're always going to be together. And then we gonna, she'll get behind me and we'll walk in the same path you know, together. Where does <laughs> <laughs> in 1584, about 100 English people were left stranded on an island just off the coast, and they created a colony. There were big clashes with the indigenous people, so when the rescue ship finally came, they went back to England, all except 15 of them who were left behind. When the ship returned three years later to pick them up, the colony had completely vanished, and okay. all that was left was the bones of just one person, and a mysterious Yo. message carved on a post. It's one of the great legends of American history. We got our own little slang, like coffee. I may coffee. say coffee sometime, I may say Alec, which I may add coffee sometime. <laughs> I, I just love attempting the accents. I don't know if they sound good or whatnot, but hey, you guys will let me know in the comments. All I have for you don't know what Alec is. Coffee. Everybody's Coffee? Your, hey, my cousin. Everybody's your cousin. And the first thing you ask somebody when you say... Wait, everybody's your cousin? We've already done Alabama. Huh? What do you mean everyone's your cousin? We've already done it. Tim is who's your people. You know, we got to find out who your people is. Cousins makes dozens, but not this cousin. I don't want none of my peeps. Well, in a century <laughs> later, the mixed race descendants were discovered speaking English, with okay. a lot of words mixed in from various tribal languages. Today, they speak English similarly to the rest of the region, but with their own interesting little twists. It's quite funny that, that y'all well, ain't I... never heard of some of the words that we say. Like, pa daddy, huh? jack. I call my little boy daddy rab. Y'all might not what? know what that means, but it's just something we say. It's the one-of-a-kind accent of the Lumbee tribe of North Carolina. I can't That's wait to North hear what Carolina? your favorite of all these accents is, who you are hooked on now, and what? when your next trip down the Mississippi is going to be. Meantime, you can go on a different kind of trip in this video right over here. Yo, my favorite one has to be Louisiana because it's the only one I guessed correctly. Let me know what you guys think to that video, though. It'd be really interesting to find out if any of you guys are from any of those places and if your accent is that strong or not that strong. It'd be interesting to check out the comments. Let me know how I did with the accents. Hopefully, I didn't make a fool out of myself too much. But yeah, good video. Enjoyed that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed as well if you did make sure to performs up subscribe for more content i'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash l3wg if you guys want to check me out over there i'll see you all in the next one peace